Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got some Pokemon Scarlet and Violet information as the financial quarter update has just come out for Scarlet and Violet and it has reconfirmed some things that we uh, know about the DLC and a hint for a potential release date and a release date window for those games uh, DLCs. So, if you want to do this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're brand new and let's just jump right on into it. So, we've only got a couple of things to go over, which is what I mentioned. Uh, the first link is from Cerebi who has gone and said, uh, as of March 31st, 2023, so that was like the first quarter of the year, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has sold 22.1 million units. Now, obviously, the game is broken, very broken, but it clearly didn't affect sales too much, because I think it was like 15 million um, at the end of uh, December, because obviously it was going to go really high up to Christmas, and it slowly dies down with the announcement of DLC until the DLC comes out. So they still sold about 7 million units whilst people knowing the game was broken. So it clearly must be some sort of a good game uh, for people to still pick it up after knowing that it is broken. And people still picking it up uh, every day even though the game's been out for a long time. Which is pretty good considering when you consider the fact of like I think it's um, Legends of Arc is only sold 15 million units and that was a very popular game. Um, and then obviously Joe Merrick, the owner of Cerebus, says only four and a half months. It's only one and a half million um, away from beating gold and silver. And uh, at this point, uh, Sword and Shield was only at 17 million. So it's outperforming Sword and Shield and has almost outperformed the entirety of gold and silver's life um, cycle. Which is uh, pretty interesting. We do have the actual thing on here on Joe Merrick's Twitter of all of the... Um, what is it? Uh, sales and stuff, as you can see uh, on your screen now when it loads up. Obviously, Scarlet and Violet is different one. And obviously, Sword and Shield is currently at 25, but they're still selling copies. So, straight away, it's already the fifth most sold um, Pokemon game. And if you think about it, BDSP was only 14.9 and Legends was 8, 14.8. So, their, mo their best game before that was Sword and Shield. And so far, we're only before DLC, the game's only been out for four months. So, I mean, yeah, it's the fifth most popular game. I think it's probably gonna be like second popular. I think it will overtake Sword Shield. I don't think it'll be Red, Green, Blue, but um, it is uh, pretty interesting that uh, it's performed very, very well considering all of the broken stuff. And uh, maybe this is a good sign for the Pokemon Company to uh, know what they're doing and keep making games like that. Um, but the reason why we talked about that is because of this tweet here from Joe Merrick. Which says, uh, also in case people are wondering, Nintendo's financials, which is like, so this stuff where they go for all the units and stuff, um, has reconfirmed the DLC dates for autumn and winter uh, this year. So if I just Google uh, Scarlet and Violet, look at the PK Hex stuff for my uh, save file because I want to finish off my uh, decks. Um, Scarlet and Violet uh, DLC release date. Obviously, it says uh, Winter 2023 Indigo Disc, which is um, what they say on here. But I think they didn't go into that much detail. Um, have a quick look, quick look. Oh, here we go. It says that Till Mask is slated for Fall 2023. Obviously, Joe Merrick goes on and says uh, for Autumn and Winter. Um, so for 2023, releases a change, and this is for Winter 2023. A lot of people are speculating Winter 2023 is technically the start of January 24 as well, because it's uh, technically 23 is winter. But uh, ha it has been reconfirmed that um, the Indigo Disc is in 23. So uh, all those that speculation that can go to bed now, because we know they are both coming out in 2023. And then obviously Yen says they can still delay it, um, and then Joe says they can, but there's no reason to. And then Sword and Shield was revealed January 8th, released June 17th. And then we're people saying it changed, uh, some of them pushing it to be 2024. And obviously this is what I said, uh, doesn't 2023 extend to early 24? And I said if it was like that, they would have said quarter one, which is what we did with Legends, because that came out in technically winter 23. So uh, yeah, and obviously some guys saying so September. So uh, that is going to be the more than likely release date for uh, Teal Mask. Even Joe said that's his bet. And then obviously Pokewood Theatre says September and December. Which uh, makes sense. It would be nice if the Kids of Calmness came out in like July, August. Like in the middle of the summer. 
um, probably August, I think. But, uh, you know, it, it, it is what it is, because, um, like, summer festivals in, like, Japan and Kitakami, you know, you wear the yukatas and stuff. If you watch anime, you will know they happen in the summer. So, uh, yeah, we will have to see. It could be, like, September, because I guess September is still technically summer. Um, in December for Indigo Disc is also a pretty good shout, because, obviously, it's Christmas, and people are going to be buying the games, like, a complete edition or something, when all the DLCs are out for Christmas to boost sales. So it makes a lot of sense, September and December. Um, and obviously it will then give them obviously no new game this year um, so they've got a whole two years to work on something else which is basically what they did with uh, Sword and Shield when um, Crown 100 came out we had to wait a whole year for the uh, next game so uh, yeah it's not too bad September it's only about four months away and we obviously don't know much so we can get some DLC hype from that and uh, learn some more stuff and then uh, December as well so not my ideal release date I'd like a August for the first one and then November December works fine for me for the second one but uh, yeah September and December it'll have to do <laughs> not like I can do much about it but uh, yeah that's it for me and this video let me know your thoughts and feelings on this in the comment section down below it released for autumn winter this year so all the 2024 rumors can go away as we know they are coming out this year but uh, yeah that's it for me there thank you for watching all your thoughts on this release date uh, potentially obviously we haven't got an official date but uh, most likely September and uh, December. But uh, yeah, that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you all in a little bit.